Whiting Petroleum is a U.S. based oil and natural gas exploration and production company based in Denver. We've got Jim Volker. He's the chairman and chief executive. He joins us now for our CEO sit down. Jim Volker, good to have you with us here on Bloomberg. Right, just give us a little bit of the backdrop right now. I know you're spending some time. You've had a big conference there out in Denver having to do with the oil and natural gas industry. Tell me about the popularity of investing in energy. Well, first, great to be with you, Pim. And uh, at the conference, uh, we had over 500 people uh, there when we spoke. I noticed that we had about 150 join us in our breakout room for a Q&A session. So I think uh, the atmosphere is still quite optimistic about oil and gas. Certainly there's uh, what I would call a, a malaise in the market as a result of international events and uh, what I would call the budget situation. But in terms of energy staying up, uh, as we know, Oil is still over $80 a barrel, and uh, people's oil drilling budgets, at any rate, are still quite strong. All right, tell me about your operations. Let's start with the Williston Basin. What's going on there for, for Whiting Petroleum? Pim, in the Williston, uh, Whiting has had three recent discoveries, all between 2,000 and 3,000 BOEs a day. So we continue to find new discoveries on our roughly 680,000 net acres that we own. In fact, 600,000 of that 680,000 is divided up among six new prospect areas that we've delineated with drilling during 2011. So it bodes well for us for the rest of the year and really uh, for the next five to seven years to come. Tell us about capital expenditures right now. You're going to have to borrow or get any more money in order to complete these projects? Our current cash flow is running at about $1.2 billion a year as an annualized rate and rising. Our budget is $1.6 billion. Uh, we have a $1.1 billion borrowing base, so we'll probably draw on that somewhat. But I doubt that by the time we get to the end of the year, uh, we'll use more than a couple hundred million of that because uh, we uh, will probably have some selected asset sales and then of course we'll have the kick in from the new production that we've generated this year helping us with cash flow for 2012 and beyond. James Wilker, tell me about what's going on with shale plays right now. What's your business in shale and how's it shaping up? Pim, the, uh, the Bakken shale play is a hydrocarbon system in the Williston Basin that extends uh, through the Three Forks Formation. And there, uh, this year, Whiting will invest approximately uh, $767 million, uh, essentially liberating oil from reservoirs that we couldn't get oil out of before with vertical wells. So essentially, we're drilling 10,000 feet deep and 10,000 feet horizontally. And then we're uh, fracking that 10,000 foot lateral uh, with approximately uh, 30 stages. So that liberates the oil that was otherwise trapped in uh, a very porous but uh, not permeable zone and uh, releases it. And as a consequence, uh, uh, the recoveries on a per well basis there out of the Bakken are generally between a low of about 300,000 and a high of about 900,000 barrels of oil equivalent per well. And with a drilling cost of only about $6 million per well, uh, the rate of returns there and the return on investment have been fantastic, uh, with uh, ROIs generally running from 3 to 1 to almost 9 to 1 on our money, and uh, payouts occurring between a year and two years. So it's been very good for cash flow. It's been very good for reserve growth. It's been very good for our net asset value per share. James Volker, tell us a little bit about the Environmental Protection Agency and any of the new regulations related to fracturing. Are you having to deal with any of that wastewater in a different way, for example? Well, I think the fracking companies, Halliburton and others, for example, have been very forthcoming by posting on their websites uh, information that shows that approximately 95% of what goes into a frack is simply sand and water. 
The rest of it are chemicals that are involved uh, day to day in our lives. For example, they're involved in the preparation of foods. Uh, it was interesting at uh, a recent conference that I attended, also here in Denver, uh, the Halliburton's uh, CEO uh, brought out some of the frac fluid that we're using in the Bakken, and he had uh, his uh, chief operating officer drink it. But he so didn't drink it, it himself, general, though. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't drink it himself. Yeah. But uh, the the point here being that uh, the chemicals that are used are really uh, benign, especially in the concentrations that they're used in fracking. All right. We're in gonna, general, what's really happening? We've got to leave it there. James Volker of Whiting Petroleum. I want to thank you very much.